Hello everybody, it's Bruce Balancey for here. I've just opened the session for a remix that I released a few days ago. Uh, it's called Empire of Light, and it's for my friend over in the UK who goes by the name Empire of Lights. What I want to show you today is the vocal processing that I'm doing on this track because I had some fun with it, and it's got a couple of techniques that you may or may not have seen before uh, or figured out on your own. So I just want to show you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you haven't heard the tune, here's the chorus. It goes like this. Right, so that's the chorus. Let's see what's going on with the vocals here. So this is the main vocal that goes through the track. It's got the most processing going on, uh, starting with some pretty serious compression. I wanted to, you know, this being a dance track, make the vocal really pop. So it's got some pretty good compression. And then the next thing I've got in the chain here is uh, just an EQ8 but with a preset that I've been liking a lot lately called In The Air that you can find right in the core library here. And it just gives a really good sort of, you know, airy, ethereal, distant quality to vocals. I can show you that right now. Let's solo it. There is no empire of light. Right? So without... There is no empire of light. Pretty subtle, but it comes through in the mix with the, uh, the reverbs and things. So the next thing I've got on here is an overdrive. There is no empire of light. It's got quite a bit of boost on it. I wanted to really crunch up the Vox and give it that kind of uh, old transistor radio kind of quality. Almost like he was cueing uh, the, the mic to mission control or something from the space capsule. Uh, so what else is going on here in the chorus is I've got two other copies of that same vocal line that I've duplicated to other tracks. And this one is pan to the right 25% and pitched down an octave. This third track is pan to the left 25% and pitched up an octave. So if I can solo these, I will show you what that sounds like together. There is no Pretty fun, huh? So you pitch shift them. They've both got the uh, the in the air EQing going on as well. Uh, this one's got kind of a custom EQ on it, and they're just pulled way down in the mix so that their uh, reverb tails are coming through pretty much just as much as the main signal. And let me see. I've got all these vocal tracks uh, using a reverb send track that is going all the way to the right channel and a delay return track that's all the way left. This is a, a technique I picked up a little bit while ago that uh, you can pan the reverb and the delay uh, to either side and it keeps the tail of that reverb or that delay from muddying your centered mix of your vocals coming right up the middle. Uh, so it's a good way to maintain clarity in the center and then add space on the sides without the two interfering with each other and it seems to be working really well. Uh, that's it for the chorus. I want to show you the verse now. Because it's got some neat tricks. So here's the whole thing.
actually we missed the best part. This slow motion drive plugin uh, is actually really cool. Um, so I found this and added it to the Vox. And let's listen to that again with the plugin on. Burning desert air, dust in the rainy sky, sandstorm whipping up, bellowing the night, falling beneath the waves, illuminate the void. The old will be destroyed. Okay, so that is the frequency shifter. If we solo this track, you can hear it again on its own. Fall beneath the waves, illuminate the void. The old will be destroyed. Pretty neat, huh? So what I'm doing there is for all the verses I'm writing this slow motion drive at about 28% uh, here for most of the verse just to get this subtle effect, right? Burning desert air. You hear that frequency panning left to right? Burning desert air. And then what happens at the end here is I just crank the mix up to 50. The old will be destroyed. And a little goes a long way on that one. I mean, 50% and that's about as much effect as I would probably want for vocals. So, all together again. And then we're back into a chorus with all the pitch shifted vocal doubles. So that's all I want to show you today. Just a vocal deep dive on Empire of Light Remix. Uh, please leave comments or questions below. Let me know if you want to hear about any other part of this track, and we can look at that too. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a thing or two, or at least uh, you know found a different way to do something you might have been attempting before. And uh, keep on rocking in the free world. Have a good one. <laughs>